Killarne Country Club car show. Uh, I'm just gonna walk the line here and uh, point out some noteworthies. Uh, this is an old Chevy delivery van. Well, they called it a sedan, but. And there's an old rat rod over here. It's a small block Chevy he's using in that one. And this is one of the more rare cars here. Um, Viper SRT10. It's one of 50, I don't know uh, where he falls in the line. And then, as I was mentioning to some folks earlier, the uh, BMW crowds out. <laughs> and uh, fun fact on this uh, Camaro here. Um, Build as a 427, but it's uh, got the wrong hood. This is a Gas Monkey Tribute uh, 68 GT350. <laughs> and uh, fun fact: I know the person who built this car. He's actually from Panama City. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, of course, it's a replica <laughs> to include the Carroll Shelby uh, signature on the car that was done by a machine. This is a Nash Metropolitan. Me. See how little that car is. And that car looks familiar. So I'll show you what the this car show outfit looks like. And as you can notice, I'm getting. A lot of uh, pollen. <laughs> this is my little trunk display here. I want to say this is a Lincoln Imperial, but I could be wrong. It's a 1980 Camaro Z28 350 car. And the fun fact about both of these uh, Corvettes, they're non-numbers matching 350 engine replacements to a 327 original. Uh, 
back up so you can see this one. Chevy pickup truck. And uh, this is the guy at the, uh, at the last car show I was at. The, uh, this truck broke down, had to be put out on a flatbed. No idea what happened. We're gonna talk that Chevy problems. And then, it's another little self-made rat rod here. And uh, fun fact about this one, this is a hand-built car, it's not a kit. Looks to be a combination fiberglass and an aluminum. These are both drag cars. You can tell by the see how the suspensions are set in them. Got the, got the skinny wheels, but the uh, the tall, loose suspensions on the front, so that you know if you pull the front wheels up, it doesn't send the shock towers through the, uh, the hood. Uh, this one's a 455. I think this one over here might be a 400. Uh, this one's got 350 in it. There's another Chevy pickup. <laughs> I like his interior. It's a saddle leather. Not a huge fan of the Grant steering wheel, but that aside. That's fair enough. Z06 C7. This is a one of these guys who buys a Roush car, pays ninety thousand dollars for a six hundred horsepower car. So I'll walk back this way, and I'll show you that Cobra I was talking about. The only reason I didn't do it the first time is he was crowded when I went by. But I'm pretty impressed though. Um, my car is actually getting quite a bit of people stopping, taking pictures, asking questions. It's always nice. Because you know when you're when you got a new car at a car show, it's uh, all right. But here's the the real deal here. So when I was talking to him, um, he said that it is an original 427. He's got all the original parts to it, but the uh, he has done some quality of life updates to it to make it drivable. Like you know, when I was looking, you saw that MSD ignition, and uh, it's got a different steering wheel and, and a uh, what um, different air cleaner setup. Uh, 
so it makes tuning the triple carbs a little bit easier. But that's about it. Peace out.